Hey guys, Agent Brian here. Not today. It has been sorry for a day longer from uh, being sorry for nine days without uploading as well. So, sorry, sorry. I haven't. I've not been trying to upload. So I should. I should, I should say please forgive me, but I'm like I should be like it's just my fault now. <laughs> to be honest, we're gonna have we're gonna react. I'm go my title should, is gonna be the. Should I put reaction first or last for a tell and then the name of it? I don't care. Anyway, I can change it even during the up, ready for upload or after, during or during the upload. Hope I get a um, twenty views or more. Thirty. And please help me hit one thousand subscribers. I, I, I need help. Tell your friends and tell tell your. Tell your friends and to say and tell them please encourage them to subscribe to me because I'm I feel helpless. Now my friend William Theo has over one thousand subscribers. I feel good for him. And he's already and he's he already ha has his first day of the career at the career center here in February, North Carolina. And I feel like my friend William Theo said I want person that can help me out, but, oh, well, this person can help me out, but I don't think anyone checks out, because 55 seconds of vlog of average of people watching. So please help me. Please give me to 1,000 subscribers as fast as possible, and I made a playlist, and I just added the description on the playlist of I Want to Break Free, and it's a good message. It, it seems to be like, kind of, what? And then you might understand what I'm trying to say in the description of the place I created that you might have saw. <clears throat> it has 30 views from the players. I'm like, what? That's, that's from within two days ago. Like, of course, I made a real gaga playlist of just the individual instruments, with the, including the vocals. <clears throat> to be honest, I think I'm going to add a description like for. Anyway, this is this is Confessions Living with Diabetes by Damon Drops. Damon Paris is his name. In three. In three, two, one. No. For years I probably thought I never had to make this video. Years. Not recently, not a few months ago, not just last year. I'm talking a good mm -hmm. seven, eight years or more. I'll say seven or eight. Living with diabetes is tough for a lot of individuals based on how it has attacked the body. And that's when your body can no longer regulate sugar the right way. So based on what you plan to eat, can affect you in a lot of different ways if you're not taking your medication to create that type of balance. I am one of those individuals where <sighs> when I was first told <laughs> that type 2 diabetes was uh, my new best friend. Okay. Like, that was my response. It was this, okay. I look at life a little bit different than most. Mm -hmm. And when I say I look at it a little bit different than most, it's I'm not afraid of the inevitable. I've had this conversation plenty of times before. I know people close to me, they, they dislike when I have this conversation. Because everyone plans to live a long, healthy, healthy life. That's your plan. Nobody plans for the opposite side of that. Nobody plans for the other end of that. Nobody plans for that one day when you don't have to worry about tomorrow because you won't make it i don't go day in day out thinking about what it is that i have i don't i don't do that and i probably meant to turn that phone off but i'm gonna just shoot this straight i'm not editing anything if that phone's gonna go off it's over there at the base of the truck whatever i don't worry about much outside of my kids, you know, the wife and the kids, like, that. that's about it, 
And so I make sure day in and day out, even though I'm hustling all day long, I create balance. Mm -hmm. In the back of my mind, balance has gotten me this far. I've been on medication for years, but balance has gotten me this far. Yeah. My doctor, she's mad at me every other week. She's mad at me. Every time I go in for an appointment, hmm. my doctor's mad at me because I'm supposed to be jotting down my blood sugar levels like twice a day, and I don't do it. I do not do it. I don't bring her back any information. Why, Dan? Why don't you bring her back any information? Are you are you not concerned about type 2 diabetes and, and what may or may or not oh, happen? Sorry. Like, are you not worried about it? I'm sorry. Why, Dan? Why don't you bring her back any information? Are you are you not concerned about type two diabetes and, and what may or may or not happen? Like, are you not worried about it? I, I I pay attention. I pay attention to what's going on to my body. I listen to my body. I make sure that I get checked on regularly. Some checks are better than other checks. And it's been that way. Long before the wait, long before anything else. And I decided to have this conversation because I was just talking to my main man, Reg, the other day. You know, we were filming. We have some things coming down the pipe. And he said to me, he was like, do you remember so-and-so? Mm -hmm. And I had to think about it. I was like, no, nah, wait. The name sounds familiar, but no, nah, no, nah, wait. And he was like, he worked with us at Walmart. Remember he was in security? I was like, the tall dude? Tall skinny dude, right? He's like, yeah. I was like, oh, he's no longer with us because of diabetes. Okay. Tall and skinny. Type of dude that you would see on the basketball court, running up and down the court every single day. Like nothing. Like nothing. Nice. Nice. Good dude. Never, ever sat down and had that type of conversation with us when we were all working together saying, hey, listen, yo, I got diabetes. No, he never said that. Uh, he wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know. Yeah. Regular dude. But you didn't know what medication he was taking behind the scenes or what shots he was taking behind the scenes. It wasn't that type of conversation. We just talked about everything else under the sun. I didn't even know he was no longer with us. So for those of you that are watching this video, for those of you living with type 2 diabetes, for those of you that are stressing yourself every single day. I don't have the answer for you. However, I need to be open with the community that watches me every single day. And you're like, well, Dame, how can you live with type two diabetes and still do these food reviews, these fast food reviews? You should be watching what you're eating. I just control what I'm eating. Mm -hmm. I balance what it is that I'm eating. I have been for a while now. And I know you would love to see me finish all the food and do all the food challenges under the sun, except Nah, I have to be around for a little bit longer. So I can't do all the food challenges under the sun and, and finish all the food that you see me review here on this channel. And my eating schedule and my eating habits off of YouTube are totally different. I still enjoy food. Your boy gets busy when it comes to food. However, there's a lot of food that sits on the plate. There's a lot of food that gets just thrown away or passed off to somebody else just because mentally checks and balances that's how i live that's how i've been living for years yeah and i know many people are like eh, why is he doing this video yeah. i want to see food you do yeah. but i think i owe it to a lot of you that watch this channel a lot of the youth that are coming up that watch this channel to have these real life talk moments where i just sit here and talk to you about what's really going on with my life i can share all types of stories with you, you know? Mm -hmm. It's reality that eventually I had to have this conversation. I wasn't going to. But if anything is to happen to me, right after I upload, before I, at any given point in time, and I'm just not uploading anymore, yeah. whatever given reason, under <clears> the sun, <throat> I want this to be said. And for those of you living with diabetes, and or you do not know because you Check haven't out. been checked... I suggest you make that appointment. At least know what's going on with your body. At least get a better understanding of what it is that you're dealing with and how, how medication could actually help you. Do your research. Talk to your doctor. 
See what best works for you. Because when Reg told me that our boy is no longer with us because of diabetes, it didn't change anything of what I was doing. But it did give me a realization point to sit down and have this conversation with you versus doing a food review. Mm. Living with diabetes. It's not the end of the world. Life continues to go on. Yes. You can still do a lot of the things that you were doing before. You just have to pay attention to your sugar levels. Because there's nothing fun about the shakes. I don't like to see emails now. It's so annoying. I just don't want them anymore. There's nothing fun about the cold feeling. There's nothing fun about passing out, laying out on the floor. There's nothing fun about that whatsoever. You yeah. have to control it. Control your sugar's low, you might need a candy bar to get yourself back up. Or, you know, a, just okay. some candy in general, just to get the sugar level back up again. And if your sugar's too high, you got to fall, fall back. back. You need more water in your system to go ahead and flush that out. And then you're also going to have to limit the portions of food that you're ingesting. You are going to have to control what's going on with your body. Your body talks to you every single day. Yeah. And you don't have to be obese for it to talk to you. You do not have to be, you know, extremely skinny for it to talk to you. You don't have to be of a certain age for it to talk to you. Race, creed, religion, your body's going to speak to you regardless. So, we all came in. Oh, someone keeps making noises outside. Just Not outside, I mean, the click, okay. Skinny for it to talk to you. You don't have to be of a certain age for it to talk to you. Race, creed, religion, your body's going to speak to you regardless. We all came into this world... We all live in this world. We are all imperfect. The body will speak to you. Some of you choose to keep going when the body starts talking. And then things happen because you choose not to listen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Listen. Listen. <sighs> Look, guys, I want to thank you for rocking out with me. All of these years. Sorry? I definitely got to thank you for that. Uh, the future of this channel, I'll still be doing food reviews. Definitely doing food reviews. That's what you're here for. I don't talk about my life. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't bring individuals in, whether it's here on YouTube or outside. My circle is extremely small. But I think it's time to start having those conversations. I can understand if you have to leave this channel because all you want is the food. You want the funnies. You want the laughs. Hmm. This is for those that need to hear it. For those to be able to go back and look upon this video after they look up for a title for diabetes and this might pop up. For those that need to hear it, please, by all means. If not for yourself, do it for your family. Do it for those that care. Get yourself checked in the description box below. I'm going to leave a couple links. Hopefully the links would actually help you guys out. We have to better take care of ourselves. I mean, it's all fun and games. It's all fun and games until you're no longer feeling well. It's all fun and games until you're laid up in the hospital, IVs running up through your arms. It's all fun and games until you get a phone call from the doctor that no longer makes you smile. And it's all fun and games until the sun is no longer shining in your favor. And you see more rainy days than most. And more gray skies than most. Listen to your body. You have to. It's not an option. It's a requirement. Mm -hmm. You have to listen to your body. You have to take care of yourself. Create balance if nothing else. I go to the gym early in the morning. Creating balance if nothing else. Yeah. I know what it is that I do through the course of the day. I keep mental checks and balances. And can I do better? Yes, yeah. I can do better. Yes. yes, I can do better. We all can do better. Yeah, we all no can do better. how well you are doing, we all can do better. <laughs> That's just how life works. Oh my god, yes, why do I, I have to give vibration Storage space running out? Fuck you, I thought I had 25% free. You know what? I hate 8, eight gigabyte phones. I guess I'm gonna have to cut it short, I guess. Bye. Please help me get the 1,000 scrummers for fuck's sakes.